there. there. I'm Robert. And I'm Vanessa. And we are late to the party. Not that late to the party, though. We're coming to you a little earlier than normal. Yeah, because we are awesome like that. But this is well into another round into the Inner Geekdom match. Halavik versus Keaton, Keaton Markey. And I, this one's tough for me because I do want to see Flavik go to the end. I want to see him kind of battle it out with Jason Inman. But at the same time, I love Keaton Markey's energy. I love her spirit and I love all her Disney swag and Marvel swag and Star Wars swag that she dons every time she comes into one of these matches. Yeah, see for me, for who you got, I'm going to go Keaton because... All of what you just said, the the swag, the Disney, that's like my kindred spirit right there because that's like everything that I love. So I'm looking forward to this match. I think that uh, it should be interesting to see who advances and who doesn't. Yeah, so for my who you got, I'm, I'm going to go for Keaton as well. I want her to pull out a win. Um, hopefully she's been brushing up on some Lord of the Rings because... Or at least the Hobbit, because that's what took down Flavik as well. So, in his first five-way against uh, Donica, when Donica won. So, let's get into the battle between Keaton and Flavik now. If this is the movie Twister, there's cows flying everywhere after the events of the Collider Collision. And on Philip Seymour, go. Hoffman we got yelling, cows. It's coming! <laughs> because things are crazy. Go, it's Julia, like when we I take cows. my a box of cereal and open up the bottom end to get to the crumbs faster. This is just pieces all over the kitchen table here in the Schmodown. Uh, Look at Mark. It's, uh, <laughs> and we've got Sam has vacated titles. He's walked up. Alex is the Star Wars yeah. champion. When I feel I should still be the champion, I should have been in there. We got so things like, parts flying uh, around. Yeah, I mean, I'm still putting together that serial metaphor you just dropped on. All right, so you get the box. Flip it open. That is Ken Nabsock from the Afternoon Podcast. I am Mark Ellis, baby <laughs> carrot himself. And the big thing, my takeaway from the collision, is that Andrew Guy somehow, some way, was able to defeat Dan Merle. And if, if that wasn't enough, you have Rachel Cushing advanced to round three, yes. which we could probably guess was going to happen. Now, and Draco is playing Ethan. There's so much to piece together from that, not the least of which is a shocking announcement at the end that we have really no teams heading into the tournament on the hand of the, the, the so called called Commissioner Thad Williams, who is really just a puppet for Mike Kalinowski. This is in chaos right now, Ken. Yeah, you know what? Kalinowski's done a great job of calling out the corruption in this league, as he says, but I think now we have a new brand of corruption. But you know what? With all this chaos, it is the great philosopher, philosopher, philosopher yep. Peter Baelish, that says chaos is a ladder. From this chaos, someone will emerge, and there is one constant. The lion's den is gone, but the Knights again, me and Mark Donica, are are here to rule in their steed. So what a cute name that is, JT and Dagnina. It looks good on t-shirts. On its own, it's going to sell a lot of merch on T Public. But what will it actually put under the white hot spotlight? That's what we're looking at with this matchup here today. Because yeah. even this matchup has been affected by the Caligula-like reign of Mike Kanowski. Uh, Kanowski, because it's you like look Caligula. at uh, Keith Markey, right? Yeah. She was supposed to play Emma Fife, right? right. She and challenged her. All of a sudden, everybody who advanced to round two just got thrown into a Vitamix, which is still $500 at Best Buy. They hit go. <laughs> it and is pretty expensive you know, Now it's Keaton going up against Adam Halibak, who somehow was able to best his good buddy Hector Navarro in round one. I don't know how that happened. I have no idea what's going to happen today. I can get you one of those for $250 at a swap meet. A guy named Buy sells them. Best Buy, B-I-A. It's a great uh, he'll get it. You'll, you'll get that Vitamix real <laughs> cheap. Uh, yeah, uh, Adam Halibak coming off that big, big, big victory of this partner. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, this is a chance for him to really strike out on his own, keep him coming off the victory uh, against Rosie. Uh, you know, I'm a fan of both of them, what they did in that match, and <laughs> this one's one of those too hard to call. Yeah, and these two have done battle before. Let's not forget that when you did have uh, Keaton Markey placing third in the five-way, Adam Halak placing second, so right. they both know their stuff, and they proved that here before, but now they go head-to-head -head in a matchup that is going to see one of them advance into the the third round. We had a lot of trash talk pre-show. Let's see what they had to say. 
I feel pretty confident and I feel super excited. Uh, beating Hector is always a joy in life. Uh, too bad you guys couldn't see us play Injustice 2. Uh, I, packed, I, I passed him a bag of salt quite a few times uh, while playing. So it was great. But I'm looking forward to seeing uh, what happens next. And uh, I'm looking forward to playing my next opponent. You know, I just showed up today and I'm so freaking confused because Mike decided to mix a ton of things up and I was supposed to be facing Emma, so that's where all my studying and prep has gone into. But now all of a sudden I'm being told I'm facing Adam. And I'm like, I've already faced Adam. Like, I know I can beat him because I almost beat him if I wouldn't have gotten that freaking Philosopher's Stone question wrong. But like, I'm not prepped for Adam. I'm prepped for Emma right now. Like, what the hell? I think she's actually a very, very good competitor. So I'm looking forward to seeing how we go, how we play one-on-one, -on -one because I think it's an interesting dynamic. You know, I've watched some of her matches, so I know some of her strengths. I know a little bit of her weaknesses, and I think, you know, if she's seen some of the matches that I've done, I think she kind of, the same thing, so I'm sort of interested to see how this Haven't they only play, have, like, one match uh, that they weren't together? Here. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. They've I'm only done forward. two matches Adam each. knows nothing about Harry Potter. He knows very little about Lord of the Rings, which is starting to become a little bit of a strong suit for me. I've been studying it really there hard. There you go. Um, but I'm one. really nervous about Adam's kind of knowledge on uh, the comic book stuff, like the Marvel, the DC, because sometimes that's hit or miss for me. I feel like my, my strengths are very strong, and I've tried to work on some of my weaknesses, so I feel really confident going forward and seeing you know, who I'm going to be up against. And watching so many of these matches, I have a good handle on what the players, certain players are good at, and I have a feeling that I can really take advantage of their weaknesses as well. My thoughts, if I win this and go on to the next round, which I'm going to, um, are that, you know, maybe I'll get a chance to actually fight Mike and be like, screw you, dude, for mixing this all up. Because it's not fair. And who said you Music get to choose what like happens a, in this tournament? A battle in Final Fantasy or something. <laughs> yeah. Picking your potions and your attack. I, mean, I love the uh, the moxie, if you will, <laughs> of Kate and Marky because she still is ready to call people out. Didn't really work out for her last time right. she called him, and that's not even playing her. And for Adam, he's right. This is just another step in his advance towards continued legitimacy in the inner geek time. I think beating Hector Navarro was such a huge win for him. You wonder about a possible emotional or mental letdown today. That is not going to be the case with Keaton and Marky. It happens. You beat a team that you're not supposed to beat on Monday Night Football, you're losing to the Buccaneers on Sunday. That's what happens <laughs> in these uh, intense competitions. It's 122 degrees in this studio. It's going to be hotter out there when the competitors get there to fight. He's off serial metaphors, and he's back on the good side with sports metaphors. Ken, what is the tale of the tape here today? What are the competitors good at? All right, Keaton Magic Marky. She is good at Harry Potter movies, Disney movies, and random shit. She loves random shit, like cereal boxes upside down where you open to get never oh, mind there we go. adam halavik he is good at comic book movies Teach marvel me. dc he talks a lot about that stuff i have to I'm know he's really good drink. at star wars and i really have he's good at day drinking in san diego he knows how to crush an ipa or two will keaton markey be another ipa for him to crush or will she be a pilsner it is poured on the sad head of adam halavik that metaphor went off the rails but we are about to get started here <laughs> i'm ready ken are you ready uh, i'm ready i'm ready then let's get Ready to smoke down. I was born ready. I have been Good. ready since We're first out call. Here today, Ooh, I am ready. Will be the, 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 I, I don't want to say Golden Boys because somebody else has one of those, but this one, it's uh, maybe of a honey crisp sugar bear vibe. Yeah, uh, I like that gets you salmonella like right like now. Don't you, you don't uh, have milk with your crisp. cookie crisp, you freak. All right, here we go. <laughs> Intro. I haven't had tarts. snacks in a while. Representing the Popcorn Talk Network with an Energetum record. Is that Michael Bolton? One win. Uh, yeah. One defeat. Is this Michael Bolton? Yeah. <laughs> it's cute. No Magic. Marky. Marky yeah. Marky emerges with a lightsaber that somehow got melted in the heat right. of Burbank, California. Not in her lights. He's showering in the glow of yeah, Michael Paul. I like her like golden voice. I celebrate his entire catalog here. <laughs> oh, yes. All right. <laughs> and her opponent. Representing Hyper RPG. With an inner geekdom record of one win and one defeat. This is Adam the Fist. Slow it down. Sounds like Surge. Yeah. And here it comes. Sideways. Yep. Freaking water. Oh, look at the big 
shots at what we can only assume is water or some sort of clear liquid. Yep, yep, I like he went to the sensible polo shirt section at Target like I did, and I uh, respect him for that. Which way is Ken? We are. You never know with Adam Howard. He's got more black on his shirt and on his facial hair than Steven Seagal in the mid-90s, and he looks just as focused. He is on deadly ground here going up against Keaton Markey. Absolutely. All right, competitors. I feel real good. Feels real good, like an eighties radio. Oh no! Keep Mark, you feeling okay? Yeah, feel great. Then it's time to showdown. Woo! First time I did that order right, Ken. Did you? Big day in the Ellis household. <laughs> First question out of ten. Category is Star Trek. Oh. How many Star Trek films were released in the nineteen nineties? Uh, Mark, do you think the answer is higher uh, or lower than the amount of times I had sex in the 90s? Oh, boy. I did not follow you, but I've seen Instagram pictures with you with long hair, and i got to imagine more Star Trek movies came out. Five, four, three, two, and one. Pentar are down. Answers coming first from Adam. Four? That's right. Damn it. Four. I had That's four, right. and I Should raced it to three. Should have stuck with the first. They are merely nine questions away from a yeah. perfect round one. And, and, uh, <laughs> tight, tight, tight. It was higher, Mark. <laughs> well, hey, you really picked up in the 2000s. Middle Earth is your next category. Middle Earth. What is the name of the King of Rohan in Lord of the Rings? Mm -hmm. Damn it. I would assume he just goes by King of Rohan. You know what I love, uh, I love about those movies? Everyone speaks in a whisper. Whisper. All right. Five, four, three, two, and one. Looking for answers starting with Keaton. I said Minas Tirith, but that's not right. Oh, that's a nice place, but not the uh, right answer. That's real king. Uh, that is not. We're looking for Theoden. King Theoden. Theoden. No, Theoden. 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 That was a close. We're specific and a little more accurate on both counts, so we remain tied at sure. one as we go back to Ken the with a question from the five. MCU. Third Everyone's question comes in the category of MCU, I as Mark said. said uh, what is the name of Thanos' home world? Home world. Where does he watch TV? Guy, Thanos would be the worst uh, concert attendee because Five, he starts snapping his four, fingers. Three, two, I and don't know. one. Looking for answers Triton. starting with Adam. Titan. <laughs> that is correct. Titan, damn it. I don't know. Uh, that is incorrect. No, no, no. Taking the lead at fingers. two to one. Your next question <laughs> comes from the very <laughs> British accented world of Harry oh, Potter. Like and your question is Isn't who cast the Patronus that leads Harry to Gryffindor's sword? In the Deathly Hallows Part 1. That sounds like a description for a Cinemax movie at 11 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of nudity getting the Gryffindor sword. Five, four, three, two, and no, one. I don't Looking remember. for I answer starting wrong. with Keaton. Hermione? Uh, that is incorrect. Adam. Snape? That is correct. Oh, oh, is my God. God. I saw you write it down right. and then you erased it. I wrote it down and erased it. I second guessed myself. Oh, oh my God. God. Stick with the first. Fifth question. You're halfway there. Fifth question. I Category mean, is DC. Because I know his is a doe what and that's why the doe the name is of the yellow spandex-clad villain that Lex Luthor uh, created in Superman IV, The Quest for Peace? Oh, my God. What is his name? A comma and a... Oh, there's an apostrophe there. That, yeah, I put those in there to trip you up. Yeah, thank you. Them like <laughs> for answers here in five, four... Three, I don't two, remember. Nuclear one, Man, damn it. Starting with Adam. Nuclear Man. That is correct. Chitara. Uh, no. Yeah. 4 1 lead, 4 1 damn lead. Damn you, Nuclear Man. Down. I didn't really care. Not, not embarrassed to admit he's seen John Carter. Oh, right. I love that movie. I don't care. Multiple times. <laughs> uh, some crap yeah. I like it more than three. We care. move on to heroes and villains. Mm. These are questions right, about good like guys or them. bad guys. Mm. Or just gals, feels more Superman. Or girls. Your next question Who plays ruthless mob boss Frank D'Amico in Kick Ass? Mm. You know, I always get Snape. Confused yeah. with us. Nope. Uh, he's probably the same person. It's a connected universe, I heard. I bet Shh. they were roommates. Five, four, Brothers, three, sisters, two, and cousins, one. Four Looking four for an answer, starting with Keaton. Josh Brolin. <laughs> Incorrect. Dang, girl, Mark she's strong. off. That is correct. Mark's drawing five points for Adam. Commanding five to one lead here in the midway point of round one. Give me a nice crowd has chair. fallen silent. Yes. Clearly, they are on the team. We had one of those last Can she make a comeback? All right, question seven is in the category of DCEU. DCEU. What two characters dig up Superman's body in Justice League? 
I uh, was not aware Superman had passed. I didn't know that no. the man with the mustache was the same See as that. that. I don't know. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, and one. Looking for answers, starting wow. with Adam. Cyborg in the Flash. That's correct. Dang. Dang. Keaton. You got one of them, Craig. Oh, no. mm. Batman and Wonder Woman not doing the digging. They hire the underlings, the interns of the Justice League for that job. Our next question comes from the world of Star Wars. And your Star Wars question is, according to Yoda, what does a Jedi never use the Force for? Is it opening cookie boxes? Because I think that would be what I would <laughs> well, use I think a for. Jedi can do that on a Saturday or Sunday. A Jedi can use the Force Five, to build a hammock. Four, three, two, and one. Pens down, looking for answers, starting with Keaton. Themselves. No, incorrect. Adam. Anger? No, attack. Looking for attack. They never use the force to attack. <laughs> or open cereal boxes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, question. Question nine. Question nine comes in the category of Marvel. Marvel. Who plays J. Jonah Jameson in the Sam Raimi Spider Man films? Ah, uh, damn. Have really good movies in that trailer. Oh, I see what you did there. Uh, oh. I like emo Spider Man. Uh, I like uh, that. My, his name Five, is drawn. I know, it's for, for me too, but three, it's in the J. It's in the J. Answer starting with Adam. J.K. Simmons. Dang, dang it. Yeah. I don't even want to share. All right. She's, she's, gonna, not, she's gonna withhold her answer. I, I lost it, it too. I, did not I actually had to go to Lady Killers. Seven to one, and we move on to Mixed Bag. I was trying to remember <laughs> who is the instructor from Whitlash. What is his name? Round one. This is Mixed Bag. Could come from any corner of the inner geekdom galaxy. Your question happens to be, what actress played Supergirl in 1984's Supergirl. Cinematic is that even classic. A movie? I don't it's know. It's a cinematic classic, all right? I, I don't remember. Oh, did you really? Uh, no. Not the best Five. thing to come. Oh, Super blonde, though. Two. Jessica Lynn. One. Oh, no. Looking for answers, older, starting with Keaton. Kim Cattrall. Incorrect. Yes. Right. I like that guess. Helen Slater. That's right. Helen wow. Slater for the Adams. Brutal. Glory this month. The uh, eight to one lead. Eight to one lead. That is an eight to one lead going into round two. A commanding lead for Adam Halavac. And we go <laughs> to round two as I remind the competitors of the rules in round good for two. Keaton. This is... Um, I'm going to let Keaton spin first. Keaton's going to spin Put first. Put the pressure on. Put the pressure and on. And here comes Keaton. Keaton. You gotta keep that confidence going My into girl. round number two for Keaton. You gotta get some points on the Good board spin. here, Ken. Spin is in. Yeah, she needs this, and she might need some steals from Adam she too. Two, 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 two two two's and steals. And yeah. some, some of these intergeek and categories get really, really tough. Yeah, they do. They do. Uh -oh. Look at middle Earth. Middle Earth. It's rough. Middle Earth. Middle Earth. How uh, well do you know your Minas Tirith and Theodens? <laughs> you can spin again if you don't like this category. Or I think she's going to spin again. I, don't know. I just like feel like move. every other one is going to be just as rough. Right spin spin again. Good cheers. Because she says it's hit or miss with uh, DC again. and MC, again. Uh, Marvel. Again. And and Hobbit. It's nothing to live for. I don't know how she is. With yeah, but I feel like it would be way more. She'd get way more the of them for MCU than she would with. And Maybe, I don't know, this is like a deep cut, and even I didn't get it. See, I would DCEU. prefer, like, heroes or villains, something that's, like, random all right, all across right. all boards. DCEU movies. These are movies in the current DCEU. Oh, no. At the time of this recording, we have not seen any footage from Aquaman, so that will not be a part of this. I should have stuck with Middle All right, Keaton, I will be asking you your DCEU uh -oh. questions. And your first question of five is... What hip hop artist has a brief cameo in Suicide Squad as Monster T, a gangster who has a misunderstanding with Common. the Joker over Harley? Common. That's you your right? girl. Um, Ice Cube? That is incorrect for incorrect. the steal, Adam Hell. I don't get to use multiple choice, correct? You do not get to use multiple choice, that is it's, correct. It's, um. You're right. It's oh Common. My God. Universal Mind Control, yo. No. Um. Common. In. Common. Good that job, that's two. Two points, from two points That is not the way Keaton wanted to start no. off this round. I should have done multiple choices, I was thinking. Should have. All right, your All next right. question. In the movie Man of Steel, the ancient Kryptonian sentry ship was discovered in what country? Uh, multiple choice, please. I can certainly provide that for you. Is it A, Canada, B, Iceland, 
C, Greenland, go or D, Norway. Norway. Yeah, I'd go Norway, too. Other than that, it's Greenland. Greenland. That is incorrect. incorrect. Adam Halva, can you steal that one as well? Norway? That is also incorrect. incorrect. Looking to our neighbors up north, givers of Canada. Brian Adams, Canada. Really? <laughs> oh, Canada. Canada. All right, Keaton, your next question. Blame Canada. How many years has Bruce Wayne been operating as Batman according to Batman v Superman? Um, Multiple choice. Is it 15 30. years? B, 20. 18 years. I'm going 20 years. C, 20 years. years or C. D, 22 years. 20 years. One point for Keith. There you go. Much needed point here. And at this point, she has two questions left in Thank this round. Thank you, Ben yep. You just want to stay alive and yep. hope you can uh, maybe steal some from Adam in the rest of this round and then have a remarkable round three. Keith, your next question. What does Hippolyta give to Diana when she says her goodbyes? Her, the, the band, the, her yeah, headband. I don't know it, but I'm just going to say multiple choice, play it safe. We can do that. Is it A, the God Killer Sword? No. B, the Lasso of Truth? No. C, Antiope's Tiara? In, the or Tiara. Or the Bracelets of it's Submission? C. The uh, Tiara. It is the so Tiara for another point. <laughs> Starting right. to manage your way around this round. All right. She's and creeping up question. a little. Oh, this is the saddest score. <laughs> In round number two. <laughs> What caused Krypton to implode in Man of Steel? Krypton's sun? Multiple choice, please. Was it A, a black hole developed nearby? B, Krypton's sun burnt out? Krypton. C, over-harvesting of the planet's core? Or D, the Phantom Zone expanded into reality? Uh, the sun. It was not the sun. A black yeah, hole. Like over harvesting the core. They harvest it too uh, darn much and it cost them big. God, it gets the steel, gets the point. It's 11 it's all three about that OG and he has Superman. an eight point lead. <laughs> and now he has the ability to get 10 more that's points rough, so that's, going that's into tough. round three, at which point we would have a knockout. <laughs> Adam Halibak, you not only got a couple steals, you now get to spin the wheel yourself. Yeah, he Here gets... comes Halibak to a rousing round. I've watched Man of Steel fully twice. <laughs> Once in the theater, the other with Collider when they did their... Uh, Commentary. Commentary. Here we go. All right. Here's the spin cannon. Here um, we go. All right. You wonder if he was a friend at all in the studio, Ken. Yeah. I almost feel like I should take I, him out for a beer after I, the show. I, 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 I'm a friend of his mind. Um, he feel bad for oh, me. He insult to him. Just stick villains. with villains. Do you want to keep villains? Keep it. Do you want to keep villains? Do you want to Try spin it out. again? Try it out. You okay. got a hell of a buffer. Gonna need, uh, gonna need your decision here. Gonna need your decision in five seconds. <laughs> He's gonna stick with it. There He's gonna go. keep villains, Ken. All right. He's All gonna right. keep villains. Oh, sure don't. Sure don't. And he is right. These could be villains from any corner of the inner geekdom universe, right. or as the crowd would view him, these could be questions about Adam Halibut. That's right. That's hey, my true you know. story. All right, you have four questions in this round, Adam. Five, five questions. And I don't play in the inner geekdom. Man. He eats cereal, folks. He's not great at math. Give the kid yeah. a break. Five <laughs> questions. Five questions. First one coming in. What was the name of the Death Eater that was appointed to the post of head of magical law enforcement? under Voldemort's regime. I said the name, I'm sorry. Dear God. Multiple choice. Cause Multiple choice. Name. Yaxley. B. Runcorn. C. Runcorn. Thickness. B. D. Caro. Is that a... Where's Roca? What? <laughs> Thickness? <laughs> Thick... It's th Thickness. I'm gonna go with B. That's incorrect. Can, uh, first. can you repeat them? God that, damn it. That was hard to understand, but sure. I could not Come hear here. you. I'm going to repeat, sorry. Okay. A, Yaxley. B, Runcorn. C, Sick Nisi. I don't know. D, Carol. Oh. Uh, I'll go Caro. A. That is correct for a point. There you go. Right. I don't remember his name. All right. As the Bee Gees would say, Ken, ha, 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 staying alive. Oh, please, please. All what right. good is all that? The Harry Potter Second studying if you can't even pull a bloody Death Eater. <laughs> Who served as Viceroy to the Trade Federation in The Phantom Menace? Newt Gunray. That's correct. Newt for two Gunray. Points. That's a big two, two points. What yeah. point of all that right studying we're so I studying shit. We're I just watch him. We're in knockout range yeah, right you've now. Known that's my downfall. Your safety belts. No, I've known right. the original trilogy Here all my life. We go. Who said? Do you want to know why I use a knife? Guns are too quick. 
you can't savor the Joker. All the little emotions. Heath Ledger is the Joker. We're going to accept that as the right answer, the Joker. That is correct. That's two points. So 15 to 4. So technically, Adam, he has knocked out Keaton, but not quite yet because he has one more question in round number two. So if he doesn't get this and Keaton steals it, she would advance to round two. Oh, have we seen anything? Is it, is Let's possible? see if more he shall get a this one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, uh, here you go, Adam. What actor, who also starred in Arrow on the CW, provided the motion capture and voice of the white orc Azog? in the Hobbit films. Can I do multiple choice? You may. A, Dominic Purcell. B, Michael Jai White. C, Vinnie Jones. D, Manu Bennett. Oh, yeah, Dominic Purcell. A? I'll say Vinnie Jones, because I don't think it was Manu. Manu Bennett? It's not a knockout. Just one chance. point. That is correct. It's away from a knockout. So was Manu Bennett, Bennett really? Uh, Sixteen to four. Yep. Twelve points. Deathstroke game. himself. So now Adam Halavac. All he really Never has knew. to do is just get Never one knew. point. Just get one point, and we're done. All right. So Final good. question. Jesus. <laughs> Final question coming in here. I feel like they're just. In the X-Men First Class, after injuring Charles by deflecting the bullets from Moira's gun, Eric nearly kills Moira by doing what? Um, Crushing her? I believe he tries to choke her to death with the necklace she's wearing. And you're a winner! winner! Good job, Adam. Impressive show. Yes. Keaton Mark, you should just uh, very, very tight. You know, you go into this, you, you're preparing for one opponent, you get thrown with another opponent by uh, What's the name of that Sismo Down song? It's like cherry flavored pie or something? The was indeed. Strangled over their dog tags, which we do not recommend you trying at home. Uh, they keep Marquis a worthy uh, competitor. She came out to Michael yep. Bolden. Maybe that affected her? But sometimes that's what Michael Bolton, he'll either inspire you or hold you back. It's, 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 it's a flip of the record at the time of that. Very emotional singer, that Bolton. <laughs> and uh, Adam Halleback, <laughs> a hell of a job. He Bolton clearly wiped her out. Lot from a lot of different places in the inner geekdom. He is somebody to look out for, whoever he's going to be taking on in round three, Ken. He's on a roll here. He had the big win over Hector. He uh, another victory here he moves on in the tournament and we're going to hear from both the winner and the loser with the wonderful Jen Sturger. What's up Movie Trivia Schmodown fans? Jen Sturger here with Adam. Adam that was an absolutely dominant performance. How are you feeling right now? Uh, I feel good. I feel like a lot of those questions were sort of in my favor which thank god because then obviously I would have been completely crushed had I gotten things like Middle Earth or Harry Potter uh, I think Keen would have completely dominated me but man I got real lucky on this round yeah. And you spun villains and you stuck with it. Like that's a that's a pretty risky move. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't really sure whether or not I should keep it because like I was saying, it could be villains from any franchise, any movie in history. But like you said, with Middle Earth on the wheel. Yeah, with that and a, you know, opponent's choice, I figured screw it, I'll just take the risk. I have multiple choice in my favor, so if anything, I can at least get there halfway. Now you made it to the second round, dominated, moving on obviously. Mm -hmm. And there's still a lot of players in this in this field for you. I'm that real are... excited about it. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you want next? Uh, well, you know, I have, I have some beef left over with Donica, and uh, there's plenty of other people, Inman, and I really would like to battle Cushing and even Emma and a few other people that, I, that I'll keep to myself. But uh, I'm feeling really confident. This was a really fun match, and I always love doing the Schmodown, so uh, it's a great honor to always come back and, and play. Well, fantastic. We can't wait to see what you do in the next Thank round. Thank you. Oh, Keaton, I would give you a hug, but you are much taller than me right now. Okay. Are you doing okay? Oh God, I've done I've done better. I've done a lot better. We well, made it to the second round of this tournament, and there's there are no slouches in this tournament, no. by the way. No, I don't know. It's just I I was. Is it mathematically kind of impossible to make Emma, it to the second and, round? Uh, then you know my think everyone screwed takes it all to the up. Second round, no matter how they do uh, and, in the first you know, round, showing right? up today and not knowing who I was going to compete against, know, and somebody who I know is very good, and somebody who I just felt like there were a lot of uh, DC, Marvel, comic booky questions, which obviously you need to expect. But I should have chosen Middle Earth uh, on this to Ask you, do you wish you would have stuck with Middle Earth? I absolutely do, because I knew that was one of Adam's weaknesses, and I knew at least with multiple choice, if I didn't know it, I could get it off of multiple choice. So. I was a strategy that I played wrong. So, 
what's next? I mean, I know, I know, like, obviously Should've you're out of the, the tournament first. now, but you got to come back. Right? I you absolutely gotta have yourself. to come back. I, I have to. I, you know, I'd love to, I'd love to, you know, battle Emma because I was supposed to battle her today, and I just think it would be a fun match. Uh, you know, even uh, Jay. Jay was kind of giving me some some uh, flack on my Instagram. So Jay, I don't know <laughs> if you're out there, but I think I could kick your ass. <laughs> I'm sure he'll have a thing or two to say about it. Just waiting I'm for sure him to pop will. up I'm and sure start yelling. But it was really nice to see you today. I'm sorry Thank it didn't you. go your you way, know, but you'll be back. I will definitely with the be ears. back. Absolutely with the ears. Thanks for having me again for the tournament. Anytime. All right, so you see that right there. I mean, Adam Classic. doesn't really care who he plays at this point. He is yeah. riding high on the horn. If he could get higher without medical assistance mm -hmm. after beating Hector Navarro, he is at that place now. Uh, Keaton comes in. Nice uh, nice attitude as always. She brings a cheery disposition. Just it didn't uh, go her way this time, but she had a big win the last time out. So that's sometimes the wins and losses come here. It's uh, what you bring to the table the next time. Out. Yeah, when, when you get a knockout like that, you see a competitor in the postgame interview, you still want to see if they have the fire. She clearly still has a very competitive fire burning for the inner geekdom tournament and in the movie trivia schmodown the future of the schmodown which only i don't even think the lord our savior knows what's going on <laughs> right now in the head of mike kalinowski that guy's no. head is like vegas and god can't actually see into that particular city now ken <laughs> you and i want to talk about the schmodown patreon real quick if you're not already a member of the movie trivia schmodown patreon please check out the patreon and figure out which tier is right for you we love having your support Absolutely. It, uh, it uh, goes to a good cause. Me and my domination here in the schmo. No? Congrats that, that, on that's okay. Ken. Mm. Maybe t-shirts <laughs> coming soon. In the meantime, you guys can check out more Movie Trivia Schmodown action. If you join the Movie Trivia Schmodown Facebook group, or you can check out the Schmodown Rundown on iTunes. For Ken Knapsack, I am merely Mark Ellis at Ken Knapsack at Mark Ellis Live. And we'll see you guys real soon on the movie, a trivia, a showdown. So that match came and went. Yeah. So sorry, Keaton, that I, this day is not your day. We know that you know a lot of stuff during the Inner Geekdom match. We've seen it happen before. It's just that sometimes your mind just kind of goes, ooh, it's she's like today for me. I know. She's probably taking it a little hard, too. I know she's probably not even watching this video because I know I didn't even want to have anything to do with that match that we got knocked out in just because it's just a reminder of the worst absolute worst situation that could happen to you the worst in the schmodown pies in london yeah but yeah i just watched that movie for the first time recently uh adam plavik though it's awesome for him he gets to press forward he gets to be that dominant force that he knows that he's meant to be in the inner geekdom schmodown although it does seem a little bit hesitant when it comes to other categories where uh kalinowski and and Emma and Jason are very confident when it comes up to what are we going to do where he shows that shakiness and that's what Inman's going to capitalize on if Adam ends up making it to the end. Crusher will capitalize on it as will Kalinowski. So that's something he needs to kind of shake away and become more confident in how he approaches all those categories and start studying and not let your opponent know what your weaknesses are because we've seen Kalinowski come swinging out in categories that we didn't even know he was dominant in. So it's it's great for those top competitors to battle it out, and I'm glad to see Halavik get into that ring with them. So that means that uh, Halavik is going to go up against Kalinowski. Right. Well, we've got Rachel going up against... Mara. And then we have those two, and we assume that's the final four, right? We'll find out because the, the Kalin, Kalinowski could completely change it up. That's the thing is he could end up having like a triple and whoever comes out of that fights him. So we have no clue <laughs> what he has in store yeah, for them. Yeah, that's true. But I think he is going to play it, you know, the right way, 2-2 two, two, and then into the final two. And then we'll get to see that battle at the live event. But... With that, we are going to be at the live event on September 8th, is it? Yes. Yeah, we will be there for that weekend as well. So come up, say hi if you were there. Um, other than that, thank you guys for watching our reaction to the battle between Talavik and Marky. What did you guys think? Let us know in the comments below. You can also like and subscribe. And do the thing on our Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Stardust. All the social networking gin joints, you know where they are. Kicking the party, fuel the party, keep the party going at our Patreon. Gets us where we need to go. Check out our review that we just did for Mission Impossible Fallout. Guys, it's so good. Just a spoiler for our review. It's, it's really good. So good. Check it out. Available on our channel now. Other than that, thank you guys. And as always, now it's time to say goodbye. This party, it's over.